Howdy folks, for today's video, I got something for you that's uh, a little bit different. And for this thing, let me set the stage. So I was noticing that my Hornady Lock and Load Press, uh, the dies were not locking in real tight there. You know, you, you put it in, do the little eighth of a or quarter turn twist, whatever, right? You put it in, twist it, and they would lock in. But I noticed that they were kind of loose on that, uh, loose when they were locking in. And when I was doing some sizing, I could see them start to, you know, like some movement. And you don't really want movement in your dies when you're doing something as precise as sizing brass to get a perfect shoulder, right? I, <laughs> at first I didn't think very much of it, but after, you know, a while I was like, man, this is like, am, this is gonna affect my reloading and I don't want this to, you know, I don't wanna make inaccurate ammo or inconsistent ammo just because of, you know, putting off, procrastinating, fixing something that is potentially broken. So, what I did is I, I kind of analyzed the, the die bushings and I noticed that those, they look totally fine. I noticed that certain stations in the press, the, the progressive press would lock the dies up a little bit better. And so I took a closer look at the first station, which is the one that I use the most because that's the one that where you're, you know, decapping, sizing, you know, that kind of stuff. And sometimes I would do the decap and size, um, and you know run those through and then I trim the brass and you know go from there but I actually looked underneath the press so this is a press bushing and this screws into the threads of the the each of the stations of the lock and load press and I mean you can use these also to convert other presses into like a lock and load press if you want like a Lee or something but anyways, this is a die with the bushing on it and you know, it just goes right in and then twist and it locks. And so I, t I looked underneath the press and I could see that on a couple of these press bushings, the locking, I guess you could say that this is the locking lug or that's a locking lug, but inside the, the inside edge that mates with the locking lug of the die bushing, some of those had chipped. And so it wasn't making a nice flush lock on all of the different locking lugs. And so I, I contacted Hornady and man, Hornady has been awesome. Uh, they've had really good customer service every time I've, I've contacted them, whether it was calling or emailing. And I sent an email and got a quick response uh, same day. And I told them that I was having issues with this and that I was wondering if they, cause I didn't want to send my press into Hornady and be without it for, you know, however long it takes to refurbish, you know, a press actually just, you know, get these out and swap them. And so I ended up just, asking if they could send me the press bushings and they did. They just, uh, <laughs> free shipping, no cost, and they sent me five of these to replace. Now, if you look at this, there is not really a good, easy way. There's no flats on it. There's no way to, you know, get a hold of it and screw it in nice and tight and, you know, torque it down so that it doesn't wobble loose. And so, I had the idea of making my own wrench for these lock and load uh, press bushings. And what that involved was taking one of these lock and load die bushings and welding it onto a, a handle. And that would give me, you know, then I could put it in, but not all the way down because that's where it would lock, but put it in about through to the middle of the so it interfaces with right about there. And then I'd with a handle, I'd have leverage to just um, break that loose and unscrew these and also to torque down the, the replacements. So I, I took an old wrench that I got from a pawn shop 
and gave it to Al Nelson from NOE and just asked, hey, because uh, he has a welding buddy or a buddy who does welding for him. And I said, hey, you know, could you just weld that right onto that? And he was surprised that I wanted to use a perfectly good wrench. And it was an older, older wrench that, you know, probably American made. I don't know. And so he took that over to his friend and, you know, his, his friend was like, kind of didn't really want to ruin a perfectly good wrench, but they ended up having some like inch thick steel, uh, bar stock or whatever. And, and, uh, so they were able to, um, just do a little bit of grinding and then welding and, uh, weld this nice fat, heavy one inch bar onto this die bushing and with this I'm able to put it in and then break it loose and change these out myself and so I was able to totally you know refurbish my own Hornady press with that with that tool and the replacement bushing. So I just wanted to say, you know, real quick shout out to Hornady. Thanks for uh, replacing these things for free. I, I appreciate it. I know my press is, it's actually pretty old now. I, I've, I've used, I've had lots of good years of use on that and have loaded probably, I don't know, like over a hundred thousand rounds for sure on that thing and a lot of different calibers. So thanks for sending those replacements. And when I was asking for replacements, then I also said, well, I also have a 300 blackout, uh, the zip spindle, uh, one of them got bent and there was a, the little expander ball that had gotten cracked on one of my 30 cals. And so they threw that in also and, and shipped it all together to me for free. So. So what I'm saying, I guess, guys, is, uh, you know, don't be afraid to work on your own stuff. Come up with um, tools that do what you need them to do. But also, don't be afraid to contact these reloading companies and firearms companies and uh, ask for uh, support for their products. I, I know that those guys want you to have a good experience with their products. And a lot of times, they're willing to bend over backwards to help you out. And so... Kudos to, to Hornady and, uh, you know, thanks to, to Al and his friend. And now I have a, a way to swap out these uh, press bushings whenever I need to. So anyways, hope you guys are having a good and happy new year and uh, stay safe, have fun and get some, get some reloading done. And if it's not too cold, do some casting and get some reloading done. Catch you later, catch you in the next video.